Let me just show you one thing here. Now, <clears throat> for Bach, every note in the scale that the 12 notes is played. The common theme, if one had to find it, uh, is freedom and the attempt to define what freedom is. I came to the uh, White House uh, when I was 26 years old. And uh, I was introduced to other members of the staff as being the person who was the conscience. I was going to be the conscience. And I knew that there was something wrong with that. But if they didn't have their own conscience, and I was going to be their conscience, that meant that I would have no power. No power in the sense to be able to say this is wrong and this is right and to have people listen. The notion was go with the idea that there was no scandal, that there was no problem, there's nothing involved with policy studies which one should really undertake. Difference. So we really need to see the U.S. take leadership on that right now. Published by the Institute for Policy Studies. There's a sense that people want justice. They so that's what we do. Uh, the Institute turns out to be expert in knowing what the next part of the future is going to be. What is the civil society going to do now? What is it that we do with regard to street heat? What is it that we undertake to do? Uh, and now we are caught with trying to figure out what sort of government we've got. How do you deal with that from your level? How do you regroup? This is my view. Revolution, which is circular and brings you right back to where you were, but rather reconstruction, which builds a different path. What do you see as the vision for the next half century? Well, one thing that we hope will go on is that people will smile. <laughs> that we hope, right? And so we have a very good start with the encyclopedia of joke books. And he looked at her and said, oh, was I here before? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're moving along. We're moving along. <laughs> <laughs> we should be very pleased about that. Then the second thing, is when you become expert in one particular thing, but that expertise sometimes loses sight of the effect that it has on others. And that one has got to be very careful about. You have to be able to see how it branches out. Who does it touch? How does it touch not only me, but everybody else? Is there a little bit that's left over from the last generation that moves the ball forward a bit? Or do you fall backwards? Why do you keep working? Well, that is a saying in the Talmud that is, it's not incumbent upon thee to complete the task, but neither art thou free to desist from thy part of it. And my job is to do my piece of it. Maybe it's a little piece, maybe it's a big piece. 
somehow you got to do your piece. Whatever changes have been made have been made because we've been fighting for those. We've got a long, long way to go. So, Mark, does classical music inform your politics, or does politics inform your classical music? They go together. The two go together, in fact. But you can't put your hand on it. It touches your soul. It gets in you. And politics can describe that soul. So the question always is, how can you make politics into something which is moral, which is decent? And that's the struggle.